Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 94 of Ocean Blob. Today, <laughs> we're going to do some reactor work. So, let's go check out uh, what I set up over here. It's another island with a teleporter. Boop! <laughs> Make this one a little bit bigger. I put some feral flare lanterns on it. Um, a little network receiver with a wireless transmitter, a pattern grid, and a netherite crafter. So if I need any recipes made up to auto craft, I can just quickly put them in there. Like uh, these guys. Um, so yeah, I want to put a little reactor area out here. Um, I'm thinking now that it may not be far enough away. Um, in case there's an explosion and radiation occurs. I um, forget exactly how far uh, the website said it, that it could uh, happen if there's an explosion. Uh, plus there could be radiation leaks. Oh, it's, it's very, um, you know, scary. <laughs> so, uh, what I want to do is there's some higher end mechanism stuff that I've never played with before. So I wanted to try and start doing that. Um, let's see. Oh, and before I forget, I went through the sluice area and finished it up. So this is what it looks like now. I've got the basalt being crushed over here. Oh look, it's not doing anything. It's all backed up. It's not, oh, I didn't configure this, I did. Oh, cause crush basalt. Goes in. Oh, maybe I don't have the. Aha. Yeah, that should fix that problem. Yeah, it's getting taken out. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I checked that. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm getting ancient debris from this. Uh, not the nuggets. So, it's kind of cool. Um, so I don't have to process that anymore. We've got 24 ancient debris. Uh, instead of, so like this gets turned into, uh, one of these. So whereas before I would get a nugget, now I'm getting basically another right scrap. So that's a lot better. And the percent uh, chance for this is higher than uh, the nugget. So it's like 5% for this, whereas the nugget was only like 2 So it's a lot better. Um, also, I got the netherrack set up over here and I changed it since uh, we're not getting netherrack out of this. I just started producing um, nether rack with a stonework factory. Oh, what I need to upgrade for this. Um, although I'm kind of scared too because uh, we are using a lot of lava and I don't know how much um, if it's if I have my lava production is enough because all I have is uh, this one little bit one oh I didn't even finish this so yeah I could totally get some more of that going why are you not working oh it looks like maybe this guy is running out of cobble aha 
<laughs> so if I need more lava, uh, I can I can easily add some more over here. Upgrade this little generator. But I need to I need to see how my lava is doing. Two hundred fifty thousand buckets. Mm. Looks like it's going up and down. Uh, oh, so it looks like it is actually going down, but very slowly. Very slowly, like. Oh no, wait, that's a whole bucket. That's showing buckets, not millibuckets. So we may need to take care of that very quickly. Um, and I know I can because I have the cobble gin. I can upgrade it easy. Um, like I found, I had a tier two cobble gin in the sluice area, which I don't need anymore. I had a tier three one I got dropped when I was uh, bebopping around the nether. Ooh, when I went around the nether, and I finally got that <laughs> that trinket. Oh my goodness. So let's get a tier five cobble gin real quick. Um shouldn't take too long. There we go. We can upgrade that and I believe I have some jars. Uh that are left over, um, so I can add those. And do I have the magma? Do magma? Let's see how many of these we can get set up in there. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so let's get this guy. Oh yeah. No, oh, he's going up quickly. Nice. Um, for five, great. Because that's exactly the amount of processors I had. Awesome. Uh oh. Oh, it backed up because uh, because I disconnected all the pipes. So we'll have to turn them all back on again, except for this one stayed on. Sweet. And it looks like, uh, is he keeping up? Yeah, I think he's keeping up. Cool. So maybe we could even add another row if it's necessary one cobble gin. Pretty cool. Okay, um, let's get rid of this. That. Pipes can go in here and I can get rid of those. Okay, so let's go see if it's still going down. That looks like it's definitely going up. Nice. Okay. So it's mostly going up. <laughs> uh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Um, I upgraded 
to a draconic staff of power because how cool is that um so when i did that i also uh, i had to do a wyvern pickaxe and a draconic pickaxe and then i got the draconic staff of power uh, so that's pretty cool cobalt seeds Ooh, and a tier 8 rat range add-on. And a mana weave road top. Ooh, so we're down to the last tier in uh, Draconic Evolution. All we need is the chaos uh, stuff, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I want to try and get into... Uh, mechanism and get the me mechanism suit I'm going the wrong way um yeah because that looks pretty cool let's just toss those in there I look at this uh they got a helmet um a chest legs and boots and they got uh modules that you can put into it even has like a mecha tool it looks really cool <laughs> um it might be cool just to have that uh you can put um modules in this that will make it act like all the different tools which is pretty cool and it adds uh vein you can add a vein miner module to it so it uh i guess if that isn't in your pack you could always use the mecha tool for it which is really awesome i think that's cool uh, and i saw some of the uh the modules that you could put in uh in the armor and those are pretty cool too so uh but in order to do that we need uh Polonian pellets for all this stuff. Um, we already have all the HDPE sheets. We have netherite. Um, we have ultimate control circuits just chilling around. Um, an induction cell to make. Oh, uh, so yeah, we need to set up lithium as well. We need to set up lithium and reactors to get these polonium pellets uh, and we also need to get fluoride because um, that only comes from uh, when you sift through gravel with like an iron or cloth mesh get this fluorite um, pulverizer redstone furnace aha there's the cluster um, so yeah I haven't had an iron mesh or cloth mesh in a while and I think all of the fluorite that I have is on level one in this chest, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's the last time I used it. <laughs> I don't think I've, I've ever even made it into fluorite. Um, so we might use this to make fluorite seeds, since we're not going to get it sifting. Uh, that's actually just enough, I think, unless you get multiples from it. You can only get one that way. What if I put it in a pulverizer, an enrichment chamber? We'll get six. A pulverizer will get six. Cool. So I can definitely get that done real quick. Let me just toss it in the pulverizer. Boom, 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 boom. 
Um, I guess I could just get rid of this baby chunks. There we go. Um, I wonder what tier C that is going to be. Ooh, that's Imperium. That's pretty hefty. before but I forgot. I was so excited I wanted to start recording. Because um, the reactor is huge. It's, uh, it's a lot of work as well. So but hopefully it will pay off um, we're probably going to want a lot of this, so maybe I should set it up in the box garden. Oh, uh, like right here. Yeah, it's still got, uh, <laughs> can't see in there. There you go, buddy. Awesome. Okay, um, I didn't set up network in here. So let's, let's go see, uh, if we got any seeds. Got lucky, you got some seeds. Fluorite seeds. Ha <laughs> Nice. So we can put these three down. That should be that should be sufficient, hopefully. Give us a little bit of fluoride coming in. Uh, now we need to set up this essence to get crafted over here. Do I got a spot? Oh yeah, I do, cause I took the um, the eggs and the feathers out. So um, I think this is an eight. Yeah. Apply and then get that in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> progress. <laughs> so. Um, I guess we better get cooking. We need, my goal is to get the titanium dust uh, going and then to get the polonium pelts, um, which both are processes that I've never done before. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it should be interesting. So let's get back over there to the reactor. Yeah, I don't think this is far enough away. Uh, but we should be able to uh, craft up some... Uh, some of these guys. Some thermal evaporation blocks. Uh, this is like a multi-block structure. Kind of like a tank, but with no top. So, um, the top end is open, so it's kind of like a well, <laughs> but above ground. And uh, it basically just evaporates um, water until you get brine. And then you have to have two of them. The second one turns the brine 
into titanium and then you have to process the liquid and get it to uh, a solid form which is the, the dust I believe and we may have to so let's do this um, boop. nope We want some of those, and we either need to do um, shift in for description. A valve that can be placed on a thermal evaporation plant multi block, allowing for fluids to be inserted and extracted via external piping. So we would need like probably four of those and two controllers, one for each tower, two valves for each tower. And then I don't know how many of these we're gonna need, but we either need two, well, we don't need to, I guess this process will occur if all you do is set up the towers, but you can increase the uh, the speed at which it heats up by adding either solar panels or um, I think there's another block in the mechanism. Uh, I think it's like a heat sink or something. A resistive heater, maybe? Or a heat generator? Uh, generator that uses the heat of lava or other burnable resource. No, it's not that. I think it's this resistive heater. A condensed cold resistor capable of converting electrical energy directly into heat energy. Yeah, that sounds like what? Uh, we can use either that or um, solar panel. I think you have to have uh, an advanced solar generator and put one on each corner. I think. Uh, so we could do it this way with the solar generators and it would require no electricity. Uh, but if we do a resistive heater, we'll have to supply it um, power, which isn't a big deal. Um, oh, there's something else I have to show you. Before we can do this, um, it's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, carrot power for the win. Uh, that is 48 bio generators running off of carrots. Uh, they must be full because it's not making carrots anymore. So it must have produced over 5,000 biofuel. Uh, I have this shut off to where if it goes under 5,000 biofuel to shut off um, so that it would because uh, basically I don't have anything plugged onto it yet and I couldn't get uh, my power cell my power cells to connect to it so I had to put a flux plug on there um, and that's what this is. It's <laughs> it's supplying uh, this power, so I could probably do that. 
um, use that power, my carrot power, to power the reactor. Because <laughs> that's not funny. Um, so, I figure I could set up a couple over here. Um, okay, so we're gonna need like a four by four base for each one of them. Um, and we're gonna need, like I said, uh, thermal. Uh, so we're gonna need two controllers. Four evaporation valves, and then um, a bunch of these blocks. That might not be enough, <laughs> but it's a good start. So um, let's see. One too many. So it's supposed to be like a four by four base, uh, and we can put uh, the controller here, and then like a valve. kind of get the same setup going over here. Oh, great. And, whoop, and then another controller. And then you can build these uh, as tall as you want, I think. Um, I know the, like, the reactor had a limit, but I didn't see what the limit was. But I think once you get a certain point, uh, it starts getting harder to heat up all that water. It takes it a while to get going. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it seven. Um, oh, we're out. So we're definitely going to need more than 64. stacks. What? That's super fast because I have steel made already. So this is like a pretty simple uh, process, I guess. It's not, uh, there's not too many set. Oh, cool. Did you see them activate? Nice. <laughs> so I guess we can make this one. What does it do? Is it building up? A small amount of heat. Ah, the temperature stopped. Cool. So we need to feed it water and then we get brine. And then we can feed the brine over here and then get out um, the titanium. Titanium! Uh-oh, I <laughs> don't want that 
to the art. I guess I should play with uh, the building gadget. That's what it's there for. I should get some water um, and we could put it in I don't think there's any way to adjust whether it's an input or an output just um, and I think I already have a couple of these guys kicking around We've got uh, an aqueous so I could just put it right here and get some water. Awesome. Um, why did it not? Okay, there we go. Oh, we're going to need two of those. Oh, look, it connected. Is it being fed in automatically? Oh, okay. I didn't think so, but I gotta check. A boop! the wrong wrench. Apple, apple. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're done with these. I guess... Hey, that would be another level on each one. We could go ahead and just use them. going up. Awesome. So it's producing enough water, uh, but we haven't uh, sped up the rate at which it um, heats up. So it's at temperature 316. Um, so I guess we need a couple of these guys, which isn't too hard. I believe I got everything. Just put this next to it. Oh, did it get filled up with energy because it was in my... Ha, 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 ha. 
I was gonna say. Um, and what I could do is. Flux point and change that to this one. Awesome. So now they're getting energy forty FE. Oh, check it out. This is in Kelvin's. Wow, that's pretty wild. <laughs> that's pretty hot. How's it doing? Oh, look, it's almost full. So I guess we better pipe it over. Um, let's go ahead and get mechanical pipes. I guess we could get uh, upgrade these. Liquid lithium. <laughs> Six. Um, that is awesome. That is awesome. So it's getting brine over here. Liquid lithium. Awesome. And now we need to take the liquid lithium. to a rotary condensator um, to get liquid lithium. Then we take the liquid lithium. Oh, what? That didn't look right. Gotta put it through a chemical crystallizer, and that's where we get the lithium dust. Um, wait a second. Get concentrating lithium. Okay, so it looks like we need a rotary condensator. This guy. Oh no, we're gonna have to make a chemical tank and a regular tank. That's for converting fluids to gas and back and forth, I guess. That's pretty cool. Um, I wonder, can I put it just like right on there? And let's see, we need to configure the sides. I'm not sure if that's a gas or a liquid, but I would think that it's a gas since we're having to condense and trade it into liquid. So gas is there. Oh, if you shift click, it goes to gray automatically. Oh, so we want it to come in on the left. Is it coming in? Oh, we might have to get it to pull out. We might have to have it down. Get the pipe to pull out. Boop. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the draconic staff of power does not work for this. There we go. 
Uh, so now we need some power for this guy and oh we need to tell it to come in through the top now is it coming in i wonder is it toggle operation ah. no it is liquid lithium it's going into regular lithium Then why did it come in through gas? I don't understand that. Oh, it must have given itself some power while it was in my inventory. I don't have to do that. Okay, so before we hook up the power, let's go ahead and... Um, we also need a chemical crystallizer. Oxidizer, chemical infuser, chemical washer. There we go. That's what we need. Ooh. Okay. Chemical crystallizer. Tell it to push the liquid. Okay, so it is a fluid. Um, energy piece of items. We want it to um, gases. So all we need to do is to give these guys a little bit of power. Um, I guess it'd just be easy to... Whoa! <laughs> this thing is so good. <laughs> it breaks. It breaks blocks very well. Okay, so... We need power. And uh, let's give it to this one. And we need one one cable. I don't know if my power cables will work for that, but I do have some advanced universal cables that should work. Ah, oh, the sound of machinery in the mornings. Oh, awesome. Um, 
So now all we got to do is get this lithium into the system. And what's the temperature looking at? The temperature actually isn't, it isn't going up. So this must not be working, what's it doing? Temp 1.3K, maybe it's uh, not in a good position. I'll have to figure this out how to get that um, heating and they're working but it's just not interacting with the mobs. Um, I guess I could just put an ender chest config output top oh I gotta have eject on yeah awesome so we have lithium dust that we need for our recipes uh, we can oh dude they have a multi-block structure for power uh, where you can store, you know, like you would build a tank and you would store liquid in there. They have something like that, but for power. Uh, so it's called like an induction cell or something. Induction. Um, basic induction cell, which is, um, what we needed the lithium dust for. Uh, but you can make this and then store a whole lot of power. Make a really big power bank, which is pretty cool. Um, you need like uh, the induction cells and an induction provider. And I'm assuming that you can make this as big as you want. Like if you had the tiny ones, you could have a pretty uh, big structure or you could get, um, you know, the ultimate induction provider and the ultimate induction cell and then just make like a really small one that holds a, a lot. <laughs> so that will be super cool and awesome. Um, but yeah, um, I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and call it here for the titanium, and then we'll pick it up next time and build the reactors, um, or the reactor, <laughs> like over here or something. Um, I still don't know. I think I may need to go further away from my base for the 
the reactor. Um, so I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun learning about the thermal towers, thermal evaporation towers in uh, Mechanism. And um, I'm going to have to figure out those uh, resistant heater thingies and see if I can figure out how to get those working. So anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.